Uh, on a different topic, uh, thank you for the letter you sent uh, back to me some time ago regarding colour vision deficient pilots and uh, the fact you were monitoring developments in New Zealand. Mm -hmm. um, can you give us an update on to where CASA's thinking is at on that issue? Uh, Senator, my only update is that, uh, that um, and I've been approached by the, the, uh, the colour vision deficient Pilots Association since then for another meeting. I said that um, that I'm looking closely at what New Zealand is doing. I'll, I'm going to uh, uh, meet with uh, my colleagues in New Zealand uh, late in June as I work through uh, that particular issue on what they're doing in the regulatory process. Um, all I will say is that I have some sympathy with their view and their approach, but I'll leave it at that for the time being. I really need to work through it. It is a different approach than the one we've we've taken, um, and. Uh, and as I said to you in my letter, I can't remember the phraseology, but I have a very open mind on the topic and I'm trying to find a way to resolve it. Um, and it's been around for a long time. Um, and, uh, uh, and I understand your concern. Could I just make the clarification that um, despite the fact you said it's a different approach to the way we've taken, <clears throat> what the New Zealanders are now doing is essentially the approach that we took 25 years ago, very successfully and safely, which was overturned without consultation with industry within the last three or four years. Uh, so there is precedent mm -hmm. for what the New Zealanders are doing, and we set it. Um, I actually think they've taken a sensible approach in terms of saying the medical process identifies this as a problem, but in this case, in the absence of other evidence, it's the operational airworthiness side that determines how to deal with that and make it safe. Uh, so I'll look forward to your updates on that. Thank you, Senator. I, um I look forward to providing them.